this is a topic that has been getting a lot, a lot of attention. Last month, Governor J.B. Pritzker shut down the Sterigenics plant in Willowbrook after air quality monitors detected high concentrations of ethylene oxide in residential neighborhoods. Well, now there are efforts to do something similar at plants impacting some Latino communities in both Waukegan and Gurney. And so joining us to explain this is community activist Diana Burdett, uh, who can talk to us a little bit more about what this means for those neighborhoods, which have a very large Latino community. First of all, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. Okay, hopefully we can shed some light on some of this and help people understand and explain what we're talking about here. Uh, first of all, let's begin with Willowbrook and what happened there. As I said, Governor J.B. Pritzker shut down that plan because of this report that came out and talked about ethylene oxide. Explain, first of all, what that is, where it's coming from, and what it causes for people. Sure. So ethylene oxide is a colorless and scentless gas, and it was reclassified in 2016 by the EPA to be a class one carcinogen and mutagen, which means at any level, it will cause cancer. Now, uh, sterogenics in Willowbrook, they had gross negligence there um, that came mm -hmm. out to light, of course, but um, also they had installed scrubbers and um, upgrades to their to their ventilation systems mm -hmm. but when the ambient l testing came in they noticed that the ambient air levels were very high we're still, still very high yeah. yes very high uh, so what is the issue is that the scrubbers and the ventilation system upgrades will eliminate quite a bit from mm -hmm. the areas that that are ventilating that are the areas that are are Sort of the immediate areas. Exactly, okay. they are sterilizing. And so the fugitive emissions, which are the ones that uh, are coming out of pipes or when the truck is connected, those fugitive emissions aren't being controlled. And those fugitive emissions are, are the, the issue. Are the ones that cost mm -hmm. the issue there. So then from that story in Willowbrook, which you know we've, we've all seen the video, and I think we have a little bit of it, of people picketing, people trying to get attention to it. Yeah. Uh, there have been protesters out there, and this has gone on for weeks and weeks and weeks mm -hmm. um, to try to get the EPA to do something, the state to do something. And so what you guys learned from that story is that there are two plants, one in Waukegan, mm -hmm. one in Gurnee, that are emitting sort of the same chemicals that this plant in Willowbrook um, was emitting and actually became part of the news cycle on. So explain to me what you're seeing in these, in these communities. So then we go to the Lake County communities and we have two facilities mm -hmm. and the facilities are emitting they're, they're permitted to there emit. There are reports that say they that they are They self-report their own emission mm -hmm. levels, and they're permitted to emit because the EPA never actually up, updated the regulations to the 2016. When they okay. reclassified it, they never re-updated the regulations. And so they're permitted to emit a specific a amount certain of level. level. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you believe that this is enough to cause issues for the people in those communities? The EPA's own self-findings state that it's a class one carcinogen at any level it will cause cancer okay and so what have you noticed in those communities because as i said these are highly latino communities um you've you've mentioned to me that you feel like nothing's being done that it's not getting as much attention because um, they are highly latino neighborhoods right so the mobilization is all coming from local local municipalities the mayors are coming together the lake county is uh health department is coming together mm -hmm. that's all happening locally but nothing is being done by the EPA or the Illinois EPA. They are absolutely doing zero for us. At least so, right now. Right now, right now, exactly. Hopefully we're working, we're trying to push and get it out because the communities aren't aware of it. Why do you think they're not aware of it? We're 72.7% .7 people of color. Our poverty level is higher than national average. And these are all the fence line communities, Park City, North Chicago, high percentage in people of color and high percentage in poverty level and below. Is it that the information is not being afforded to them or offered to them? It was or never is it given. That it was never given to it them. It was never given so until the community itself came together and started providing the information. And so are people receptive to it? Because I know one of the issues too is that a lot of um, the Latinos who live in that neighborhood also are employees of some of these claro. plants. And so that makes it a little bit more difficult. Yes, the, the employees employ up to, uh, the facilities employ mm -hmm. up to 200 people. And so it makes it a little bit more difficult for them to be receptive of the information because then we're challenging their food. 
the food that they put on their table. But it's not about shutting these facilities down. We don't mm -hmm. want to shut the facilities down. We want the EPA to regulate and change the systems in which they actually sterilize. That's what we need. Okay. We need to upgrade the systems and we need to change ethylene oxide from being emitted into so our communities. So it's just a way to raise awareness yes. for people. Yes. Uh, how can they get involved if perhaps they're watching this or they live in those communities and want to get a little bit more information because obviously we can only offer a certain amount in our in our time frame. Right. Um, so where can they go? Are there websites? What would you Yes, require? Clean Power Lake County has a website. Clean Power Lake County has a Facebook. We have a Twitter and it's mm -hmm. all going to it's all going to have recent information information. They can and connect resources. with me specifically also. I am putting out all the information that I possibly can. It's all information that is scientific based. So it's coming off of the EPA. It's coming off of the Illinois EPA. Uh, I'm getting information from okay. the Illinois Department of Public Health uh, in regards to the incidences of cancer because those are also elevated. All of that information, I'm just taking it in and I'm, I'm breaking it down and simple. For I'm making more understand. simple. Yeah. And offering some help in Spanish for some of these folks claro. as well. Claro. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Again, her take as a community activist on what's happening in the neighborhoods of Waukegan and, Gourney, and Gurney, I should say, and some of the plants facilities that are in those areas. So we appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Next year.